Hey, peeps, and welcome back to another episode here on the Doc series. In the last episode, our luck started to turn around, and we actually started making progress again. We got you know, you know, Uno, <laughs> the unicorn here, which is actually a lot better than I gave him credit for in the last episode. He is now our primary berry gathering creature, so... Yeah, poor, poor Iguanodon, you have been completely replaced. You are now a backup tame that will probably immediately die at some point. And we also got our amazing Carno Uranium. Uranium here was an apex Carno at a very high level one at that. And he's very good. I like him a lot. He's about the same power level as a good Andrew, which is a little disappointing, but he does inflict a pretty powerful bleed, which I'm hoping will help us later on. But I'm going to be honest, peeps. I'm going to be truthfully honest. I love Uranium, but um, I doubt he'll live to see the end of this episode because we're going to be taking him out on some adventures today. But before I do that, as you can see, I am cleanly shaven, peeps. And that is because we are trying to get enough hair to make the nanny. We are very close. We're at 46. We need 50. And that is because Pog Pig is the only survivor of his generation. The other <laughs> Andrew has died, but uh, thankfully not Pog Pig. Pog Pig has the best stats of his parents, so I really want you to survive to to adulthood. You raise up so horrifically slow, but once you re reach 10%, you should be able to start eating from the feeding trough, and then I won't have to micromanage his food as much. I'm scared to leave him to go do what we need to do today, but he's got a decent amount of food in his inventory. This should be, hopefully, enough. But speaking of what we're going to do today, I have two primary goals. The first goal is we are heading to the swamp area way over there near the 40 and 50 side of the map in hopes of killing the Apex Araneo and Apex Snakes because they drop the advanced long neck rifle, which we need to actually use our really good darts. Where, where are Yeah, these ones. And also the metabolism darts. Because if we want to start knocking out some worthwhile creatures, we're definitely going to need these. Also, I noticed that we have a rainbow pistol that apparently dropped pre-crafted, and I completely missed that. So that's cool. It reduces the foe's damage by 10%, which sounds pretty clutch, to be honest. So yeah, I think I'm going to keep this on my inventory. Maybe not now, because I don't want to die and lose it. But I, I am... I, well, you know what? We will test to see if the poison... Ah, uh, I don't think I can load it with poison bullets. I think we j we need to use the rainbow bullets. These ones, right? Yeah, okay, that's slightly less useful then, because I'm pretty sure these poison bullets maybe do torpor, which would be pretty nice, but I guess they'd be irrelevant if we got the long neck rifle. But also, peeps, I have been reading the Doc's book. Finally, I'm sure all of you are rejoicing. It's only episode four, and I'm finally actually trying to learn how to play the mod, and it seems like the next step of progression for us to make is getting a pygmy dino tamed, as you peeps have also let me know in the comments, and for that, we need the Doc's crafting station right here. Because to tame the pygmies, we need to make pygmy treats. And for those, we need to do gardening. So we need to get a dung beetle as well today. Because I really don't feel like making fertilizer the, 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 the terrible way. I'm going to put this ooh, right here. Framed in between these two little torches. Oh, heck yeah. All right. So what can we craft in here? Everything important. Oh, yeah. Here it is. So the Doc's Taming Treat, we need a Citronol. Oh, we also need to tame an Apex Dodo for a Dodo Eggs. And then basically every type of crop. What is this? Oh, just basic kibble. Okay, fair enough, I guess. Oh, interesting. It looks like this works also as a as a mortar and pestle. Cool. Okay, so I can just make stuff in here. But uh, yeah, so goals for today, peeps, are to hopefully get a Dodo tamed, or an Apex Dodo, get a long neck rifle, and be on our way to making stuff for pygmy treats because i'm not sure what they do I, I think they give you buffs and rewards for having them because they they work as shoulder pets throws my plan of getting a fjord hawk out the window if we need pygmies on us to always like actually be successful so i might have to s install the death inventory keeper after all but yeah before we head out peeps i'm gonna go ahead power level uranium here wow we're already doing pretty crazy damage oh a lystro all right i mean we have to do it now that i'm here in a safe area i'm taming a lystro and of course it's a level 95 and a in a mod where the levels can be up to 1000 we find the level 95 lystro gosh dang it look at this baby dodo interesting 
Does this have the same mechanic that it's the uh, the acro? You know how the acro does more damage to smaller creatures? Is that what the Carno has? Because sometimes we're hitting really high damage, like on the ants, and then other times we're doing lower damage. Like, yeah, that's much higher than our normal damage. I've got no idea. Either way, we're going to tame up this Bob feed. All right, one more feed and we should have it. I guess that is the benefit of it being a low level. And I mean, fair enough. Even if it was a, <laughs> a really high level, I don't think it'll be surviving being hit by anything just in general. So, uh, yeah, I guess you're our perfect little Bob for this series. Ah, oh, it'll be so nice. We went all through Primal Fear without a Bob. Oh, I figured it out. Okay, so we have Rhino mechanics. So look, standing still, chomp 330. Let's go ahead and build our, our little heart, and then boom, 900. Okay, so we're a very hit and run type of creature. Cool, cool. Man, having a thousand damage already is pretty good. All right, well, I guess that cast, cast my doubts aside from uh, from the Andrews being basically the same level of power as this guy. As long as we have the, the, the damage boost from being faster, then that's way more damage, and we've already got a decent amount more health. I think we might be ready to go over there. Now, we could walk, but that's... I feel like the most dangerous thing you can do in, in docks is travel, because <laughs> there's more of a chance of something some BS happening along the way. So, oh, you know what? I need to make a I need to make a raft before we leave. Yeah, absolutely. Cuz the Carno is garbage at swimming and megalodons are insanely fast. Okay, yeah, we're making a raft and then we're going to teleport over there using the the Fjordor teleport realm system and then we're just going to take a raft and hope megalodons don't target rafts cuz if they do, that'll be pretty sad. Also, hello Bob. Bob is home. Oh, oh, it's so nice. It's like it's like chicken noodle soup for my soul, peeps. Bob. All right, let's get to making a raft. Oh, yeah. I didn't show this in the last clip. Oh, my gosh. But this is an apex mammoth. Oh, my God. It just obliterated that car now. Uh, oh, is that a mega raptor? That is a mega raptor. What the hell? Oh, we're not. No. No. <laughs> no. no, thank you. Um... Oh, there's so many fjord hogs. I wonder. Hold on. Let me try and kill some of these fjord hogs. Cause if they can eat the corpse of this mammoth, I wonder if that'll be enough for one of them to tame. Because yeah, we need pygmy dinos later. But oh my god, is these micro raptors? No, 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 no. Yeah, we're killing all those micro raptors right now. We also. Yep, there he is. The devil himself, the scorpion in the trees. All right. I don't know if this is a good idea, peeps. That's ah, a trash level RG. Yeah, I don't know if this is a good idea to try and take on this mammoth. But I feel like it'll give really good stuff if we if we manage to kill it all right come on come on come on come on no i just need one of you i don't need all of you alive yes 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 all right that's one come on just just one uh what was i saying oh yeah yeah if we kill this apex mammoth i bet we can get some really good stuff because when i killed that apex i think it was apex theory and it dropped a lot of good stuff for us I could be remembering wrong. I literally just recorded that yesterday. I don't know why I'm struggling to remember. All right, either way, the probability of getting good stuff from this guy is huge. Wow, you healed a lot. All right, hit and then run. Okay, it's not faster than us. That's good. So we could potentially make it lose aggro. Oh, I do not want to get hit. I do not want to get hit. Wait, what? Paragon power level. What is a paragon? I'm apparently a paragon. Oh, oh, that's not bad at all. Okay, 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 okay. Only hit it when we're going fast. Wow, what a time to poop, uranium. God, I love the dinosaur pooping mechanic. That's, it's so fun and engaging. All right, well, I guess we have to disengage now. Gosh, dang it. All right, well, thank goodness we can use meat to heal, I guess. You know what, peeps? I keep hearing explosions in the distance every now and then, and trees fall, and it never happens. Oh, another Giga! <gasps> oh my god, yes! No, it's trash, and it's an adolescent. Dang it! Oh, we might be able to kill it. <laughs> Will we, though? I don't know. We might be able to kill it. That'd be a lot of levels for our Carno. But yeah, something keeps exploding in the distance, and I don't know what it is. All right, but that's another black and gold Giga. Maybe that's just what Gigas look like in this mod. It looks like uh, our decision has been made for us. Ooh. He's raged. 
All right, you're gonna start fighting back? No, he's running. Oh my gosh, easy giga kill. I can't wait for it to like randomly like bite and then instantly kill us. Oh, did I, is it dead? Did I kill it? I completely missed that if I killed it. All right, hold on, hold on. Let me kill the snow owl. I, did we kill the giga? <laughs> I, I, I missed the death message if we did. All right, did we get anything good for it? I don't see any loot loot bags. All right, I mean, fair enough. I guess it is just an adolescent giga. Two levels, it's not even how much I hoped we'd get. All right, never mind. <laughs> giga was really just not even worth mentioning. All righty, peeps. I think we're ready to finally take on this mammoth where, ah, oh, there's a scorpion art. We gotta make sure the scorpion doesn't see us because uh, if it does, it'll slow us down and then we're screwed. All right. All right, run, 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 run. We're doing over a thousand damage now and it clearly has damage resistance. Okay, and or maybe it didn't have damage resistance. It was just nerfing us. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, that was another big hit. Ooh, that raptor's coming over here. Do not want to be anywhere near that raptor if I'm gonna be honest, peeps. I don't know, it's aggro range. There we go, another big hit. Oh, it's bloody. Oh, it's dead. Oh, we didn't get the we didn't get the the um the kill because it bled out. All right, whatever. Give me all the stuff. Oh my gosh, how I hear ex well, yeah. What's causing these explosions? Oh, it's the raptor. Right. Yeah, that would make sense. Actually, that doesn't make sense at all. Why would I say that makes sense? Okay. All right. Raptors cause the boom booms apparently. Okay. Um, I'm gonna quickly head back to base. Drop off. All this hide and and meat for Pog Pig, and then I think we're just gonna straight up teleport over there because danger. Please don't see me. Please don't see me, Scorpion. All right, yeah, this place is getting dangerous. Dangerous, sir. More danger. More dangerous by the day, dude. I hate. I hate that creatures have to poop. It's it's gonna get us killed. I have a feeling that's gonna be what gets us killed. All right, peeps. I think we're ready to teleport. Let's go ahead and do it. Realm teleportation. Okay, now I just have to remember where what this teleport is. I think it's west south. Oh, I hope. I hope it's west south. I oh my gosh. All right. Um if it's not west south, you know what I should do? What what would be the smart thing, peeps? Would be for me to strip all of my gear and test it out as a naked. So if I teleport into the jaws of a manticore, perhaps, I won't just lose my tame and my gear. But you know what, peeps? I believe in docs. I believe that today is a better day than than the pain that we received yesterday. And look at that. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Patience almost rewarded. That is still a summoner, but yes. This is the right spot. Okay, cool. My brain still works. Uh, I wonder if we could have built on this island again like we did in the, in the normal Fjordor series. That could have been entertaining. All right, is the summoner gone? I really don't want beef for the summoner because if that sees us, we're dead. Okay, good, it's over there. All right, let's quickly set down the raft and get to sailing. All right, and boop. Good, 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 good. And there we go. Now he's hoping that uh, the, the game hasn't given Megalodons lead sickness AI and they don't try to kill me. Actually, let's also hope that there just aren't lead sickness because that would be nice. Or, uh, oh, well, I guess here's our Megalodon test. A baby Megalodon. Cute. Okay, where's that summoner at? I don't see it, which is a good sign. I don't see much of anything. Uranium's giant booty is in the way. All right, no. Yeah, yeah, it was a good idea to make a raft, peeps. We a million percent would have not uh, would not have survived this swim over. Holy heck! All right, all right. So far, so good. No, no leads. I've done, I don't think I've ever seen a lead over here, even in the normal playthrough. So I think I think this is free. And there's no dragons, no manticores. Oh, it's going well. Okay, so far, so good. We could also, that's a giant floating eel. Hi. Yeah, that, that mean, yeah. Why not, right? Why not? Literally, why not? All right, well, let's just hope it has a small aggro range. I should have brought some sleeping bags. 
to, uh, to potentially spawn back over here if I need to. In fact, I might just make some. All I need is fiber, I think, right? The eel stopped moving. Scary. Uh, okay. All right. The air has turned green, as it usually does. And we have made landfall, peeps. And I'm stuck on a rock. All right. Before we do anything, where is my sickle? I, of course I didn't bring it. All right. I also didn't bring my bow, just in case we die. I don't have to remake or uh, refine a bow and remake all the arrows and narcotics. So, you know, a part of me at least has a brain. That's a very quick Sarko. All right, we have to be careful of Capros, especially here, peeps. We don't have the the saddle for the Andrew, so we're not immune to being just absolutely clapped by Capros. So let's go ahead, make some sleeping bags. Let's let's make like, why can't I click the multiple? Uh oh, what is going on with my HUD right now? That's weird. Alrighty, peeps, sleeping bags have been placed, so we have a little bit of extra insurance if we die. And I also managed to fix the issue that our little HUD was having. I just left the game and came back, so yay, I can craft things normally now. All right, swamp, let's, I, oh, I guess let's just look for Apex Araneo and Apex Titanoboa. What level are you? Oh, 95, I'm gonna kill you for, for experience. Smack, smack. Schmack, schmack. Wonderful. Oh, no. okay, that's a Baryonyx. I thought that was a Capra running towards me. <laughs> oh, snap, peeps. Our first Apex Titanoboa. And of course, it's like an insane level, but it's fine. It's fine. We should be able to kill it without too much hassle. All right, where is it? And smack. All right, I've missed. And smack. And smack. Oh, I've been bit. Oh, that Torpor Drain. Or a gain. And that's our Carno Knocked. Wow! All right, thank goodness you wake up so quick. All right, what we get? We did, ugh, come on, game. <laughs> Stop turning off all my stuff. All right, we got some just stuff. Unfortunately, not the long neck rifle. Good crossbow, though, and a better chest piece. I will take that. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I thought that weighed us down. All right, cool. I wonder if I can use the fabricated pistol to use the poison dart uh, bullets. I'm also so glad the Apexes lose Torpor so quickly. But, uh, yeah, that means, well, I mean, that was, that was basically the highest level Titanoboa that we're probably gonna see. So I'm not too worried about the Torpor peeps, if I'm gonna be honest, but dang! That was 33,000 Torpor that snake gave me in, like, three seconds. So, yeah, we, uh, if we see an Apex Titanoboa, we better kill it before it, it really has a chance to do anything to us. Frog! Oh, no! That was unique. Oh, whoa. Ooh! Heck yeah. Okay. Fabricated sniper. Wait, is that the advanced thing? No, okay. That's just a normal fabricated sniper. Oh, that's a Reaper. Mega Reaper. 1.2 million health. You got me messed up, game. You got me all kinds of incorrect. That's another Apex Snicker Snake over there. Oh, we can one shot that snake. All right, hold on. Clap. Clap. Are you coming after me? Oh my god, you're quick. Speedy boy. Speedy Oh, how dare you heal? Wow, dude, that damage res uh, reduction is insane when we're not, you know, at full speed. Yeah, we really just need to use our speed to fight things because, oof, that uh, that is not good damage. Uh, well, th it also was a hydrated Spino, so maybe that has something to do with it. I'm scared that this Reaper is going to, like, poke its head over this corner and just see me. Okay, no, it's way over there. All right, let's go kill the snake. Please drop me what I need so I can leave. I don't want to be here anymore. Boop, there we go. Yes! We got it, we got it, and it's Mastercraft. Where's the, where's the Reaper? Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. Okay, oh, whoa, what? It looks like a Winchester. Um, more melee. Okay, cool. So, we could leave. We could leave right now, but I kind of want to stay to try and get another one. Like, a, maybe an Ascendant one, that'd be pretty nice, I think. Ooh, a bat. Ooh, Apex Onyx. Okay, you know what? We're gonna go for that. Oh, 125. Is that max level? Is that the first max level we've seen? Oh, Titanoboa? Nope. Got a scuba tank for it, though, but no, uh, no goody goods. All right, boom. There we go. Apex Onyx is down, and I don't think we got anything for it. All right, yeah, I think I'll stay a little bit, and then, unless things get dicey, and then I'll, I'll quickly bail out. <gasps> Organic Polymer. I don't know what gave us that, but yes, we need that. We need that very much. 
Oh, we got a second one. Yes. Oh, and it's better. What is this? Apex Boa Heart and then this? Journeyman Docks Organic Poison Rifle V2. What? Craft Docks Organic Fertilizer to Repair. What on earth? Okay, well, I'm happy with this. I'm happy with the 215%. I really don't want to be here anymore because of that Reaper Empress. She's a... Yeah, I mean, point point proven, peeps. Let's, let's get the heck out of here. Oh, God. You know what I just realized, peeps? You know what I've just re realized? I don't know. The teleport to get back to near our base. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, yeah, I forgot we didn't build next to a point that can be easily teleported to. Oh, shoot. Okay, hold on. Let me drop all the, the meat. There we go. And then I'm keeping one of these on you just in case I die. And I'm keeping one on me just in case he dies. All right, all right, well, let's pay attention. So that's east and then east. Okay, <laughs> okay. Biome teleportation. East, southeast? Yeah, because east will put us in the redwoods, southeast. Please don't spawn me next to something stupid. Come on, we had a successful journey getting trank rifles. Oh, I'm worried. I'm really worried. Now I'm really am considering leaving myself here and teleporting and they're just coming back. But I don't know. I, I trusted Docs to teleport us here safely and it got us here safely. So I'm going to put my trust in it again, peeps. Final last words. Pfft. Where's my... What? Okay, Carno. Why are you a goober? Why are you up there? Oh. Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, we need to tame one of these, right? In Apex Dodo. Look, peeps. I put my trust in docks and it pays off. It pays off. All right, let's kill the dialers around here and get this Dodo tamed. And there we go. All right, I'm going to name you B B Brew. No, but actually, you know what? It was going to be Blue, but now you're Brew. All right, Brew. I, I really don't care about your stats. You are getting in a soul ball and we are going home. Oh, all right, and we're not too far away from home. It's literally right there. We can see our little mountain over here. Heck yeah, oh, okay, yep, thank, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Heck yeah, peeps. What a successful trip that was. Now we just need a female so we can start getting fertilized eggs. Alrighty, peeps, so some bad news. We can't make the fabricator yet because we require oil. I completely forgot about it. Now, of course, I could just scoop it up off the ground right here and dump it in there, but that doesn't work. And to make the oil machine go burr, I need the, of course, fabricator. So we need to go find 10 oil somewhere, be it a dung beetle producing oil through poop or actual oil nodes. We need oil, but the good news is we have a pretty decent long neck. Oh, this looks exactly like a long neck, just a little darker and more Rooney, I guess. Interesting. All right. So, but with this, we can use the tranquilizing rifles and, or uh, darts and the metabolism darts, which are super duper nice. All right. And what is this? The organic poison rifle version two. What does it look like? All right. So it's got, it looks like the pump shotgun and that is a flower out of it okay um oh what oh my gosh that's fast okay i want to go test it on something all right but uh yeah so our next goal peeps is to get a female dodo tamed we also need to get apex dilos tamed at some point and yeah oh and oil and oil i knew i was forgetting something all right let's find something to shoot this poison rifle at We've got a perfect test subject in the form of this Tranodon. All right, Mr. Tranodon. Bleh. 150, and it does not headshot. It does do Torpor, though. Oh, and it does the Dilo Venom. Oh, I thought that would hit for sure. Where are you going? What? Why are you... What is these advanced? There we go. Okay, cool. So it's like a weird Torpor rifle. What's the point? Like, actually, what's the point? I don't know. Maybe just it's it's free, easy torpor. It's only at 35 durability though. All right. Well, 
let's let's go out and try to tame either a high level snow owl or like I said the Apex Dilo or a female Apex Dodo. I gotta be real careful around here, peeps. I don't know where that scorpion is. Scorpion, please don't ruin this. Please don't ruin this. I don't like not knowing where that scorpion is. That scorpion is snuck up. There it is. Okay, good, good, good. Where's that raptor? There's the raptor. All right, all right. Wide berth around everything, peeps. Well, 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 Apex Dodo female has been found. Right. Did you please like, just not exist? Just don't exist. I'm gonna pretend you don't exist. You pretend I don't exist. Oh, oh, this is where we first started, peeps. This is the shipwreck where we got all of our good stuff. All right, okay, good. 11% per feed. Just leave me alone. Don't. We're dead. How are we not dead? I don't know how we're not dead. Hi, Dodo. <laughs> I don't know how we're not dead. All right, just focus on taming the dodo. Hope the wyvern goes away. Yes! Today is a good day, peeps. This is a good day. This is a good day. We immediately found a female. Oh, we had a blue male and a red female. That's all. Wow, turtle. Really poor decision making there. All right, I got to be careful not to get too close to them because they will aggro on you if you like get up all up on them. But yeah, that, how cool is that? We got a blue a blue male and a red female. Ha <laughs> ha! Gender stereotypes. Oh, 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 oh. And there we go! Alright, red. There we go. I did, didn't mess up the spelling that time. Alright, stop it. Alrighty, peeps. Alright, I am excited. Things are going well. I can't wait for the final boss to spawn and kill me. Oh, I guess the final boss is the Titan. Or, uh, the Titan Overlord. And that, I don't think, can kill us unless we start the fight first. Okay, we're also right next to this cave, which means we could go in there to get dung beetles, which would also be extremely useful. The issue is I don't have poop. Oh, look at the baby turtle. I love that like things can spawn in as babies. That's awesome. So, but yeah, I think I'm gonna do that, but we just need poop first and how convenient. There's some poop right here. All right, cool, cool, cool. Oh, oh, the Healy Orb. Don't do that to me, man. <laughs> I heard I heard strange sounds come close to me, and I thought I thought that was truly it that that uh, uh that our fun time was over. <sighs> all right, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna wait around all these creatures and wait for some poop to drop. Hang out with Healy Orb here, Life Force. Thank you, Life Force. I wish I could tame you. That'd be awesome. Oh, nice. Okay, we've got a male Apex Dilo here as well. I'm absolutely gonna. Oh my God! Don't. And yep, I don't know why I even tried that. All right, please. Uh, Make this easy on both of us. Why are you like angling, dude? What? What? Stop! Stop! Oh no, he's attacking a die. Or um, what's it called? Oh fudge. Mm -hmm. And sleepy time. Oh, 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 oh. It's just you. All right. And literally any meat? Do we have any meat? Do we have prime? Prime would be oh prime. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. All right, now we just need a, a female Dilo, and we'll be good on the egg maker front. At least for, oh my gosh, the Torpor. I didn't bring any darts. I guess I guess I could just punch you. Yeah, I mean, I don't super care about your level. What is that? Something dead. All right, bonk. I said bonk. There we go, yeah, eat. Eat or I'll punch you again. Actually, I, I, I have to keep punching you anyway. Please forgive me. Oh, wow. Okay, that's a rock drake. Apex rock drake. I don't remember those spawning in this cave when I played. Ah, <sighs> dang it. All right, well, that, that, I guess, cuts our search short. Budge. All right. No dung beetle for us, I guess. So, wait. How do you, how do you even tame the striders and docks? Because you need the Gen 2 missions for them, right? Unless they've, uh, they've been changed. It says not tameable and it's not giving me any information. So, uh, you peeps are going to have to let me know how that works. Because getting a strider would be pretty sweet for resource harvesting. Can you soul ball the striders? I know you can't cryopod them, but does that also apply to soul balls? I have no idea. But we're home. <sighs> Where's Pog Pig? Pog Pig, are you alive? Oh, Pog Pig is alive. Yes. Yes. All right, let's start mating these dodos, build it up a good amount of fertilized eggs. And while I was in that cave, peeps, where's our, where's blue? Dodo? 
Oh, there you are. <laughs> yeah, while I was in that cave, I grabbed a handful of red gems. I'm gonna take that, or uh, blue gems, rather, so we can make the glide suit. And that'll maybe help us. I don't know, it might come in clutch later on, or it might just be purely convenient, but, uh, oh, what? Oh, thank goodness. I was like, why aren't they mating? All right, sweet. Let's just wait out the night. And please be female. Ugh, of course, with the stupid Theodons, I could get nothing but females, but, ugh. Annoying. All right, I guess we'll keep you. <sighs> All right, well, it is morning now, peeps, and the reason I'm trying to get more female dodos is because for the, f the candies that we need to tame pygmies with, we need fertilized eggs, which is fine and dandy if the females didn't need over an hour to produce a single egg. Yeah, that's a little rough. That is a little rough peeps, so I was really hoping you would be a female, but alas, I am not that lucky, but I also did some extra stuff during the night. As you can see, we have four crop plots, each growing the crops that we will be needing for the rest of the season, and to supply them in lieu of a dung beetle, we have Mr. Poopin, or uh, excuse me, Miss Poopin over here to produce poop. Alrighty, peeps, so we really need oil. We really need oil so we can start making fabricated stuff so I can make the nanny and most importantly so I can make the soul terminal because apparently I've heard that babies grow just stupidly fast in the soul terminal but uh yeah I don't know where oil is so I think that's gonna have to be a goal we conquer in the next episode we need a flyer peeps we need to trap and tame either an RG or a snow owl with preference to, I don't know. I guess no, a snow owl beats out an RG in this scenario because they're faster and they have the, oh yeah, also I did make our glide suit, but uh, yeah, so we need to go tame that 180 or uh, 1080 snow owl and then hopefully a female to go with it. And then with that, we could fly around a little bit safer, maybe find some oil, bring it home, craft what we need and yeah. So that's what we're gonna be doing in the next episode. I hope you all enjoyed this one we oh we didn't die oh my gosh this is the first episode where we haven't died oh amazing peeps we're getting somewhere in docks but uh yeah like i said thank you all so much for watching it means a whole heck of a lot and i will see you all in the next episode Bye bye oh snap bob outro whoa